right, saddle up those britches, buckle up those hats, lace up those boots. We're going to have a good old-fashioned 10-gallon square dancing hoedown. Okay, I'm a level with you. I have no idea how any of this works. So, Beyonce said we're doing country, so... We're doing country. No. We'll do it live! If you haven't heard by now, Beyonce has decided to dip into the country world by releasing a country album. The first two singles are already out, being Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages, and for the most part they sound exactly like you would expect them to. It's not necessarily country, it's more like Beyonce over country elements. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I think it's a little misleading to outright categorize this as country music. That being said though, I I have a confession to make. I I actually like these songs. You what? Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I actually like these songs. I'm trying to avoid the propaganda. I'm trying to avoid the corporate money machine, but they got me. I can't help it. It's working. It's working. Ah, oh, they got me. God damn it. I like these songs. All right. So sue me. Big whoop. Wanna fight about it? Starting off with Texas Hold'em, I know this is supposed to be like a soiree into country and it's supposed to have that vibe, but I feel like this is more country adjacent. Now, there's nothing wrong with trying to categorize music in certain genres, but sometimes things don't always fit where you try to put them. A prime example of this to me would be Kid Cudi. When he first came out, a lot of music sites had him listed under hip hop, which I guess, but for me, is music it kind of floats between genres it's really hard to categorize it. it's like what we do with everything we just sort of put alternative on it and that's good enough so for these Beyonce songs I wouldn't exactly call them country and I know you have the whole themes the dancing the dress it all fits the motif but at the end of the day, sonically, it still sounds more like a R&B pop song than anything, which is fine. But I really wouldn't consider these country songs if I had to categorize them. That's just me. And if you feel like they do fall enough into country, then I'm not going to argue with you. But for me, I really wouldn't classify them as that. Now I'm interested to hear what the entire album is going to sound like. We'll wait and see. I mean, the whole renaissance thing for me was a kind of hit or miss. Her and Drake both went into the house realm with Honestly Nevermind and Renaissance. And to be honest, both of those albums were meh. M -E -H. meh. I went in totally expecting this to be a weird romp and something that I wouldn't like, but I was pleasantly surprised when I actually listened to the song. I didn't expect to be dancing and vibing while I was listening. Looking back, it's like, what else would you expect? I actually like it. What can I say? Now I want to talk about 16 Carriages. This is the one right here. And again, the whole genre thing, I don't know which genre does it fall in, who cares? I think this song is gonna be the one that they play in movie trailers this summer. 16 carriages driving away. For emotional scenes. 16 carriages driving away. People are gonna use it for weddings. 16 carriages driving away. Whenever there's an emotional moment in your life, this song is gonna be played. This ain't Texas. Ain't no holding. And this is one that I'm going to try to keep on my personal playlist and try to tune the radio out because I know it's just going to be everywhere. I say that for both of these songs, but you kind of expect it with Texas Hold'em because that is the pop radio catchy dance one. So you expect that to be played everywhere and you expect to be tired of it at a certain point. But 16 Carriages is the one that you sort of hide in the corner and cry to when you lost your favorite teddy bear. Not speaking from experience or anything. I hope for the love of God that 16 Carriages isn't at every supermarket that I go to because I really do like that song and I don't want it to be ruined by it being everywhere all the time which I know it will and I can try to drown it out to a certain degree but you know how it is there are some hits that you just can't avoid no matter what you do 
and I just hope that it's not one of those. So far, the initial impression that I have is wow i actually like these songs i didn't expect to so far so good in my estimation if i had to rate this song on a scale of one to ten i'd give it a not bad but what do you guys think did you like these songs anyway thank you for watching leave a like if you feel so inclined and i'll catch you guys on the next one